you know you know what uh, you like those are the person which they put typical mother <laughs> typical <laughs> press 2 for account details press 3 for technical support press 4 to make changes in your existing programming press 5 for limited time discount offers press 6 mm -hmm. for new Thank you so much for calling AT&T and Direct TV Services. How can I help you? Oh, yes. I'm just calling um, to get some help with my Comedy Central channel. Uh, yes, ma'am. That's correct. So basically, let me just tell you that uh, there's a discount promotion going on for the customers. So first of all, can you please confirm me the phone number associated with your account? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. And can you please confirm me the port of the passcode associated with your account? Absolutely. It's S C A M. Uh huh. Uh, I just said that four digit passcode. That's the four digit passcode. For what? The pin. Hello? <laughs> okay. I normally do not call the AT&T DirecTV scams. But uh, I was listening. Actually, this morning I woke up to Elma. Uh, you know, my second next to Winja. Um, and anyways, so that's how, and then because there's so many on Bob. So I just tried one and now I've got to call them back because that was kind of funny. Thank you for calling DirecTV AT&T. If you know your party's extension, Thank you so much for calling AT&T and Direct TV Services. How can I help you? Uh, yes, I need some help with the Food Network. Hello? I'm sorry, I thought I called AT&T Direct TV. Did I not? I guess I didn't. Must be the wrong number. Oh, what happened? Thank you for calling Direct TV AT and T. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time or select from the following menu options. Press 1 to make a payment. Press 2 for account feed. Hello. Hi. Is this AT&T? Yes, I'm help you. Is this AT&T? Yes, go ahead. Who is this? Yes. Who is this? Michael. Michael. Hi, Michael. How are you? Michael? Okay, so, uh, yes, what happened? Uh, I just was wondering, um, so yeah, I wasn't sure. I tried to call, but uh, I don't, maybe you couldn't hear me. You received a call from my side? Yes. Or from AT&T? No, from you guys. Our side. Are you an existing customer with us? No. Do apologize from the depth of my heart. Let me just put your name on a do not call list, ma'am. You can't apologize. You're a scammer. I mean, you can you can apologize for being a scammer. But How can you even assume a person, not... a person you don't even know? It's yeah. not good, ma'am, to be I very know. honest. To assume someone who you don't know. Okay, how about this? You 
Are you, where are you located at? What what country? I'm located in U.S. New Mexico. Okay, then then you're lying to me. So how can you be upset with me when you're the one who's pretending to be in America and pretending to be AT and T? I'm not pretending to be in America. I'm just telling you that I am in America in Roswell, ma'am. Are you only in Mexico? Have you ever? Are you only? I'm in Roswell. I did, okay, I understand. I've heard of it, but it doesn't mean that you're there just because I've heard of it. I've also heard about New Delhi uh, and Calcutta, India, too. I believe that's what, what should I do? Be you honest. doubt me, but it's not a good thing to assume someone but I'm assuming, and to assume things about him but no, if you don't know that person. I do know, though, because here's the thing. If you're representing yourself to be in America and to... Why would I represent to be in America? I am an American. I love the United States. Why would I do that? Well, how come you have an accent? Were you born so here? My, Were you born here? Yes. So, so you're a racist? You're no. racist? Racist? <laughs> like if someone is a is a, no. having a different accent, you will be telling no. him that why don't you have a good accent? Well, it, it, the reason why you don't have a good accent has nothing to do with me being. I'm American. really I'm really surprised what happened to the Americans these days. The American these days. Stop being a racist. In India. <laughs> Stop being it. a racist. I knew it. <laughs> Yep, I'm a racist. But here's the thing, guys. If it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck, it's a scammer. Duck. Or goat, in my case. So let's call him back. Why not? Thank you for calling DirecTV AT&T. If you know... Hello? Hi, is this Michael? No, this is not Michael. This is Harry. Hi, Eric. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. <laughs> nope. They're not scammers at all. I'm just a racist. Thank you for calling Direct TV AT and T. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time or select from the following. Thank you for calling AT&T Direct TV. My name is Ryan. How can I help you? Hi, Ryan. I need help with uh, one of my channels. It's the Christmas channel. <laughs> uh, I can't do this all day. I wish I could, but... There we go, folks. Scam out. Although, actually, there's quite a few directs, so who knows? There may be more after this. Peace. Thank you for calling Direct TV AT&T. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. Thank you so much for calling AT&T to TV. This is Daniel. How can I help you? Hi, Daniel. I need some help with my Comedy Central uh, channel. Mm -hmm. Can you help me with that? Yes. 
Okay. Well, don't, you know, say too much. You know, please slow down there. You're talking too much, Daniel. Daniel, so what do I do? Oh, Daniel. Yes, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. What about you? I'm okay. Getting kind of hungry, mm -hmm. but I need to get my um, Comedy Essentials working. How do I do that? You can give me a kiss. I don't have a case. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, what kind of case? Like a suitcase, a carrying case, glass. Romantic case. What? Romantic case. Tickets? Tickets? Romantic. Romantic? Yes. Oh, are you saying you love me? Yeah. You love me I already, love you, you? Boy, it's only been two minutes. This relationship is moving pretty fast, don't you think? <laughs> so what is the scam? I don't quite get the direct T V AT and T scam that you guys are doing. What is the end game here? I love you. Well, I know you do, but I don't, I'm not going to give you gift cards. So, you know. Can you please give me a kiss on my lips? Nope, not going to happen. But why? Because you're a scammer. I don't kiss scammers. Okay, goodbye. Ma goodbye. Hang up, shithead. Stop being a scammer. That was right. Thank you for calling Direct TV. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Who's this? Uh, who are you? You're calling. I know, but you're like, hey, I, is this direct TV? <laughs> Did I get the right number? No. No, who is this then? Who did I call? This is John's car wash. John's car wash? Okay, that was, okay. I did mean to call you because my car is filthy. Okay, no problem. Okay, so what time can I bring it in, do you think? At any time, you can come now. We are free. I can come now? Yeah. Well, that's what she said. But, um, okay, what corner are you located? Are you right off GB Road, or where are you? Are you by the Park Street Grill? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from the United States of America. Okay, but our store is located at 2919 South Jackson Avenue. Oh, okay. In India, though? Like, is that like Delhi or California? No, that's from Missouri, United States of America. Oh, it's not downtown Calcutta? No. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you guys really, do you have cars to wash there? Or do you guys just all ride bikes? Like, what do you drive there in India? Pardon me? What do you drive in India? Or do, you, do you just take a bike? Or most of you don't drive, right? Yeah, I drive your ass. No, you wish. When are you going to tell me what the end game is? Of this no, game? I don't. I don't wish driving your old ass. By the way. <laughs> I don't blame you. 
me, you're probably like 19. I'm probably ancient to you. <laughs> Oh, so what's your end game, Shithead? Pardon me? I said, what's your end game here, Shithead? I'm not getting it. That's because you don't understand English. I said, yeah. what is your end game? Are you talking about Marvel's end game? No, I'm not talking about Marvel City. Again, this is where the language barrier really, really, yeah. I don't know how you guys, I don't know how you guys can scan people because I, I, it's so easy for me to tell. Um, no, I yeah. what what's your end But game? most of the Americans are dumb there, you know? Well, there's a lot of dumb Americans, and but that doesn't mean that you should steal from them. I'm sure there's dumb people where you live doesn't mean I should steal from dumb Indians. Not dumb yeah. right. And then some, it's not just that they're dumb. Sometimes what you're doing is you're targeting old people that don't understand computers. They don't understand technology. They, they, they're they living on social security. Like Americans aren't rich. Yes, some are. And some are dumb and rich. But that's not the majority of people here. You have a lot of people that are naive, but, you know, you're, you're targeting, you know, I'm sure you, there's some idiots that probably deserve it. But maybe that's terrible of me to say. But for the most part, your victims are innocent people that are just older and don't know any better. Yeah, but you know what? From my end, I never talk to older people because... Uh, it just doesn't feel right for me. I just like target the people who try to be over efficient for me. And they get scammed really bad. Well, okay, you're but you're talking to me and according to you, you know, my old ass, right? So you're talking to my old ass right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I'm not here to I'm like scam you, I'm just here talking to you. Good mostly, point. mostly Good I point. refer. Uh, uh, mostly, I give the original number to the older customers that reach out to us because I don't feel right scamming them because they are they are already vulnerable. Good. Well, I I hope that's true. I hope you're being honest with me because I'd like to think that. Yeah, I am being uh, honest. That is why I'm the. <laughs> I'm here in my office. I'm the only one who has the least sales in a month because I mostly refer the older people to. The real department of at and and Direct TV. Good, good. Well, that's good. Because what is the scam? Like, that's the thing. Like, I don't, like, I know social security scams. I know the Amazon, like, the refund scams where they pretend, oh, we accidentally gave you 4000 instead of 400 like, that whole thing. But I don't understand what the Direct TV one is. I'm really confused. Like, what is it? If you don't mind. Okay, me. I'm not gonna tell you that. You can, <laughs> you can, uh, like, you can call back the same number, and you can just uh, try to be a customer, and they will let you know each and everything. But I don't even know what to say. That's like, with, so that's why I just, you know, I don't even know what to say. Like, no, yeah, uh, what I'm telling you is that you can uh, give a call back on the same number, and someone okay. else will pick it up, okay. and you can just pretend to be a customer. Okay. Okay, just what give do I them say your though? name, okay. your yeah. When when you call, they will ask you for your name. You can just provide them any fake name. You can provide them the phone number that you're calling with. That is four two five nine zero six five three five seven right now. So or else the number that you're calling with that is associated number. Then you can provide them any pin number that will work. Um, and after that, or else you can just say that you do not have a pin number, and then they will proceed with their script. Oh, okay. I see. There we go. Okay. I'll call back and have some fun then. Okay. What was your name? Let's see who your catches name? you up. Okay. What was your name? Uh, no, I wouldn't tell that Not because I just told you something. Okay. Something that I shouldn't have told you. That is why. All right. Fine. Then I won't be mean to you. I, I won't abuse you anymore. How about that? Pardon me? I won't abuse you anymore. <laughs> okay, <Nice>. no problem. <laughs>
Okay. We can be like uh, we can be a like kind of friends here. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, then just remember okay. that. Just remember that there's cool people on the other end of the phone. You know, that don't have money to be. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I already know that. Okay. Thanks, shithead. I'll call back. All right. Bye okay. bye. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Dang it. Shoot, I'm going to have to redo that because he said my damn phone number. But um, this is where it would help to know how to edit because that's probably like a two second edit. Anyways, um, fun stuff. Who knows if this comes out like this, then you will know. Let's see if there's a little thumbs up squirrel looking thing. Then we know that I figured out how to edit. Chances are there won't be though. I will be re-recording this. Okay. Peace. Thank you for calling DirecTV. Well, that is so rude. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time or select from the following menu options. Press 1 to make a payment. Thank you for calling DirecTV. How may I help you today? Oh, hi, yes. Um, I need help with one of my panels, I think. Okay. Uh, can I please have your phone number associated with the account to pull up your account details? Absolutely. 425. Uh -huh. you just bear with me. Let me pull up your account details for you. Okay. Can I please have your first and last name, ma'am? Absolutely. First name is Kenya. Last name is Swallow. Uh, yeah. How do you spell your last name? Uh, Swallow. Uh, S-W-O-L-L-O-W. Uh -huh. Okay, just bear with me. Let me check into my system. Okay. okay, can you please confirm with me what help do you need in your channels? Yeah, I just am having a hard time getting the Comedy Central and the Food Channel. And I'm okay. trying to make, the food trying to channel. Make You're having trouble in getting the Food Channel and the other one is? Uh, Comedy Central. Okay, Comedy Central. Let me just see it for you. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So, are you having trouble like watching these channels? Are they not coming on on your television, or what is like wrong with them? Uh, yeah, I just I'm not getting those channels for some reason. Not getting those channels. Are they activated onto your account from your side? I'm sorry, what? Like, are these channels activated onto your account from your side? Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay, let me see it for you. Can I please have your zip code? Oh, uh, yes, it's 98072. And a four digit passcode for your account so I can like access your account and see why you're like unable to watch them? Yeah, it's 6969. 6969, let me see it for you. Okay, ma'am, just bear with me online. I'm, like, uh, doing it for you. It will be done within the next, like, uh, one to two minutes maximum, so just bear with me online, please. Sounds great. Thanks. Okay. 
Okay, once again, just for verification purpose, I uh, use spell Kenya as K as uh, K E N Y A and S W O L L O W. Kenya swallow. Mm -hmm. Or Kenya swallow. Yep. You got it. Superstar. And the zip code is 98072. Yep. Okay, let me see it for you. It is being done. Just bear with me online. I'm bearing with you. Can you please confirm are you the authorized owner of the account or no? Uh, I am. Okay. Okay, ma'am, from my side, these channels are activated. You can watch them on your TV. After the next like 10 to 15 minutes, I will realize they God bless you and bye bye. What's that? Well, that was kind of weird. God bless you and goodbye. I bet you that sounded so legit, didn't it? By the way, oh, here it is. Look what I found as I was waiting for numb nuts. Check it out. It's a bear with me gift. A gift. Oh, well, the. This one doesn't do anything, but okay, well, I thought it was free. I hope it is. Okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> that was more fun with uh, Direct TV. So we'll try them again. W dot, then dot, give one thing. Yes, you give one thing. Make a click on that. It will want to use the information. Make a double left click on that. Block those hackers. Block, 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 block those hackers from your site right now. Typical motherfucker. Typical motherfucker.